Good morning, Martin Florida. Official Jamia. Official Jamia. You know what I'm saying? You are the defending champion. Because she keeps coming on for the third time every single morning. Simone Kelly, good morning to you. You made it to this morning's first. I'm not the first. I'm not the first live. Mm -hmm. Second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really one? Vanessa Trend, really pretty twists. Thank you. You can check out Natural Hair Dynamics on YouTube for the tutorial. Yes. Wow. Just saying. And the Why are you bending details. over there? And the hair details. Because I'm too tender. I'm not like the angle of the camera. It's too low. But good morning, guys. For those who we haven't seen since 2022, Happy New Year. I'm going to fix my ear. Can't I get to the movie? Really? Mm -hmm. I'm coming back, guys. This thing ain't so old. Really? You can't get the pressure, you know. You can't get the pressure. Uh, I'm, I'm cheering, guys. I'm cheering. Okay. All right, guys. So thank you so much for holding. Mm -hmm. We appreciate each and every one. Vanessa Trent. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> DIY, not me, but I check out the video. Oh, it's it's. You could try. You could try. You could try. All right. Let me go, baby. Let me go. Let me go. <clears throat> Today is my strong meds day, so I'm having. Till I can stand up without. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! Without being dizzy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so guys, here we have our you know um, recipe, our ingredients for today. I am experimenting with fennel. And it's not something that I've used often. If you're a fennel lover, let me know. But we're going to try a stunt with the fennel this morning. And we're using fennel, garlic, onion. And of course, we have our beautiful lemon here. And we're going to try to make moho sauce. Yes, fennel moho sauce. Our garlic fennel moho sauce, as the title says. Um, that's what we're trying to make today. So um, moho is a Spanish um, sauce. And it involves just... Basically sauteing your ingredients in, in whatever oil you choose and then using the onion to create a nice super balance. And guys, this is something that is, is, is can be vegan, just totally omit all um, plant-based protein out of it and you're good to go. All right, we have some avocado here and guys, we're keep it simple, keep it breezy. Clear M, good morning to you, big up yourself. And so we're just gonna, we're just gonna, um, you know, just get this done. Pretty much, we we'll chop up everything, and then saute it in a some oil, in a some oil, and 
that's the moho sauce. You just have to be timing it right so that everything works how it will work. The sauteing process and everything goes comes together beautifully. And the moho sauce is, that, is you can make the sauce beforehand and put it down, you know. Um, and put it in a bottle, for instance, and use it anytime you want to with potatoes. Originally, we saw this with yucca, and I totally did love it. To guys, my board is not dirty, it's just stained, okay? So don't come for me, please. Can you tell them not to come for me, please? <laughs> please don't, don't come, come for me. us in 2022. All right. So, pretty much, you want to cut the onion into thin slices. Is there a reason why I use purple um, onion? A uh, red onion. Um, they classified as red onion, but um, because the original dish. Isn't there a real red onion otherwise? Isn't there another color onion that looks like red? Mm -mm, we don't know. Yeah, so why I use purple because red Because the onion? original recipe called for that this, this color onion. Mm -hmm. All right, they have two styles of um, moho sauce. You have the Cuban and you have, I think, the Puerto Rican. All right, and the Puerto Rican style asks for red onions. So. And aesthetically, it looks nicer, you know? Mm -hmm. Is red onion sweeter than regular onion? Red onion is not sweeter. It is a little bit more, um, if any, it's a little bit more, you know, onion make your ball? Mm -hmm. Right. It is a little bit more balling. <laughs> it's a balling onion. Okay. But it is it's perfect for salads and stuff like that because, I don't know, it, it has the more rib of loving. Oh. So I'm just gonna give you those answers until I find out the other answer. But let me know if you guys love red onion separate from the other ones. You know which onion you like the most, or if you don't like onion, because guys, honestly, I personally don't like onions like that. But I have come to the realization that onions are so good for you. Then you know, sir, I had I had done that though. The next thing where the next thing where the onion do is also you see if you have any sickness and you cut an onion or bacterial infection or them something the onion onion draw bacteria. So when you cut onions, for instance, and you go put it back in your fridge, please put it in an airtight con um, container because if you leave an onion in your fridge overnight, it actually takes everything out of the all of the bacteria out of the fridge there goes into the onion. Mm -hmm. So home remedy now, if you have a cold or a flu or the Ronas, yes, <laughs> you can just cut an onion and set it in your room or your enclosed space, whichever space you're in, and it's supposedly supposed to pull the bacteria. My neighbor used to tell me to cut an onion and put it under my foot bottom and put on a sax and... That's witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> and he pulled out all of the, the flu virus out of your body <laughs> <laughs> your neighbor was a witch <laughs> <laughs> a big big pastor I feel like I'm a witch <laughs> <laughs> oh 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 oh, 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 oh <laughs> Mm. No, but it's true, though, you know, on the real, though, it's true, it's true. Putting the onion in, in a socks and putting it by a foot bottom or whatever. Some, as a matter of fact, I've seen where people put the onion on, on their chest, chest yeah. you know, and it pull out congestion, you know, and, and thing. But the only thing with putting it on your chest is that onion can burn you because mm -hmm. it is, it, it does have a little bit of acidic um, um, juices inside of it, mm -hmm. so it can burn you. You understand? So that's be careful. So, but for this recipe, guys, they use tons of onion. I'm still not using enough based on the, the, the original required recipe. You need more if you're gonna use all of what you're gonna put it on. Um, I'm not gonna use all the fennel though. No man, not me. Good morning, Winsome Johnson. Good morning to you. How are you guys? Where are you checking in from? Army checking in. Where are you checking in from? Let us know where you're checking in from so we can give your city or your state or your country a shout out. First of all, we are, are 
Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is alive. Live in the kitchen and live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yeah, the belly is alive. Yeah, the belly TV live. What we are doing? Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, the belly is cooking. Cooking in the morning, we're cooking in the evening. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, man. Yeah, the belly is cooking. Yeah, the belly TV, we cooking, cooking, cooking. Me like that, me like that, me like that, me like that, me like that. And if you are a producer out there who wants to <laughs> make us voice this song, I make we get it official. Please to link us up. <laughs> So we can be official. All right, so New Orleans in the house. <laughs> Louisiana. In the house. Hey. Baby, 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 come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby. Baba Rasson live is from New Orleans. Big up yourself. Manhattan in the house. Hey. New York in the house. Hey. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. And you can walk. All right. On. So hold on, hold on before you go in at the, the, the falsetto. No. Hold on before you go in at the falsetto, please. <laughs> so guys, right mm. now, me, me just cut up the head of the, the fennel. The fennel. I want up with the foot. Where no beef, man? Why? You can't cut up the head. Sure. Yeah, but I know. <laughs> All right, so guys, with us again, fennel is, is, is super duper. It have a little, almost like a woodsy, minty type of vibe to it. Smell mm. it, baby. Mm. Bordering on... Mm. Like mint, don't it? Like mint with a hint of licorice. Yeah, hint. licorice is the word. Yeah, licorice. A, a little undertone, right? Not a background. It give me a little licorice. No, right? no, licking argument. See, stop it, stop it. Stop. Queens in the house. New York in the house. Hey, baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. Baby, baby, come on. See, ah, see your inside, of the, inside of the this celery look. That is fennel. Fennel, sorry. It I can't make so it. Uh, let me just rinse. It's so let me just rinse it off. This is a good garni. Let me just rinse it off. And we're going to try to cut this into nice little strips. And Ram in the house. Orlando <laughs> in uh, Florida. Orlando. It's just Palm Beer or up there, sir. No, where live? No, no, Orlando. No? I can never remember where in Ram live. But no, we, he's, he's in um the, the treasure course. Where is that? Up the road. No. What do you mean, no? You have to tell me where the treasure course is there? I know where the treasure course is, but I'm saying he's Where the treasure course is there, my girl? All the way from here, go back. So we're in the treasure coast. We're not in the treasure coast. We're in the Palm Beaches. I'm not going to argue with you right now. Because <laughs> I'm not a geography um expert. So let me back out to that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Thank you. <sighs> Enram, Enram, you couldn't work with me. And she said, I try to win an win argument. I remember I'm try to win the argument, and Enram just threw me under the bus. Boy, I tell you. Let the truth be told. I was almost at the point of winning, too. And just, just, just threw me under the bus. So I feel so hurt. So he's, um, what do you call that now? Spicing up, dicing up. Yeah, and that's sort of like trying to, to do like a, a julian. Mm -hmm. But two minutes, 200% with them, them type of ingredients, yeah? I'm wondering who makes up all of these names, these culinary terms. Who make up them names there? How would that become julian? What is al dente? Al what dente is, means... I know what it is, but who comes up with all Most of it words? is from France. Oh. Cause them feel like they are the culinary capital of the world. Mm. So I think you should turn off that, you know. Go show show the people in what you did over there. Okay guys, so in here we have our potatoes being roasted. We have red over there and we have yellow over there. And I'm gonna test why, to see why if it roast them separate. Okay, I roasted them separate for two reasons. One, because 
when you're roasting anything you don't want to pack them too closely they, they roast better if them have breathing space so because so you want them to breathe yeah <laughs> don't move back in and say foot back like a burner so because that was fairly full i decided to put the other one and then it's two different type of potatoes so i don't know if they cook at the same speed so that's why thank you you're such a darling potato cooking you know exactly <laughs> what you're doing all right so guys may I use one pen help you now oh enram said that soup looked delicious last night blessings blessings yes bread. guys so, oh yeah you guys for those who have not been keeping up with our posts and our videos let me tell you what you guys need to go and watch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you need to go and watch that um vegan soup that meatless soup that we did mm -hmm. and what it was it called again what the soup um vegan soup no, that's <laughs> not what you call it pumpkin something. pumpkin coconut miso Pumpkin, pumpkin coconut, coconut miso, miso soup. soup. Yeah. yeah, you need to watch that, and then you need to watch um what Tuesday live? Yeah, what did we make Tuesday? Again? Tuesday we made an amazing mm -hmm. smoothie. smoothie. Oh, mg, you guys! This one is for the books. Mm -hmm. And I have to check out that smoothie that we made on Tuesday because it's not normal. We haven't tasted anything like it. Because we've That's never fun. made anything like it. So you guys need to check that one out. And then our other live for Tuesday was, uh, you know, um, a saving hack video, a live that we did sharing, you know, with you guys a saving challenge that we have embarked on as a family. And I'm, I'm feeling robbed. Good one. Because you take out all of my money for the saving. <laughs> and does her. So then you ever get it back. And then, my, my, one, of my, one of my clients said when she finished, she, she going to get how much? Out of the 10,000, she going to get <laughs> six and the husband going to get four. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think I like that idea. Wow. <laughs> I think I like that idea. Good morning to you, Gwen Lewis. Happy New Year. I don't think I've seen you since... The year started. Yeah, Gwen was on my dear man. Oh, Gwen said that soup was looking delicious. Yeah, I'll never check Thank out the soup. Thank you so man. much, Gwen. Mm -hmm. I didn't turn off that. I, I need to test it. Hold on, you guys. Yeah, turn it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll turn it off. And it was great, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we're gonna make up the um the Z sauce. So, so see the see the ingredients, the man. Now, guys. Everything is all set. The only other thing is the the um the lemon, all right. And for this in, um particular recipe, I'm gonna add some little stuff, some of my little stuff them to to make it nice, you know. Mm -hmm. Auntie, auntie. Mm -hmm. I know me here already, right? Mm -hmm. So I have some larries. And I have cumin. Ground cumin is super duper good. You have to try that. You understand? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'm going oh, red pepper flakes. I always have to add red pepper flakes. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Charlie. Yeah. All right. So, let me see now. Let me mix up, me mix up the cooking oil a little bit. Because... Oil, it's an oil derived, uh, mm. what do you call it? Derivative, what do you call it? Oil based sauce. Mm. What do you call it? Oil based sauce. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. It's a oil based sauce. How mm. often you, you set around? You want to power over here? It, it, it powered every now and then, then go try it. Every two minutes. And if you don't do it, 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 it matters. Oh, so it's a reminder. Okay. Yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna matter me until you take it off. All right, guys. So over here we have our saucepan. You have to go the other side. See. Hmm? Okay, I'll put this on the thingy because it's hot. Thank you. Appreciate you. So we have um vegetable oil right there. For the video, they look far, so you know you can stand up there and zoom it, right? Let me try it. You see, that's a zoom. And to this, I'm going to add 
two heaping teaspoon, which is one tablespoon of coconut oil, because the coconut oil have a vibe, carry a buzz. And with the now this this dish you don't want to make your stove too hot. You see me as a you see me because if your stove too hot, you have to cancel out the whole vibe of the tea. All right. So now you're just putting in your garlic to warm that through. It's important to warm through your garlic. Oh, you're not saying nothing, babes. What happened? You know what I'm saying? My mom's on spring? Mm -hmm. My mom's on spring. Wow. Simone <laughs> here. <laughs> Simone, she in here, give it to me. What the can, Bible say? Can I get um, one of the, where something there, name? The spatula thing? The Bible said be slow to speak and quick to listen. That's what I'm doing right now. All right, so <laughs> now we just play around with the garlic. I thought they said don't play with your food. Really? George <laughs> 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 is in the house. Hello. I'm not responsible for the condition of his hair. <laughs> yeah, it's just saying. All right. So one of the things that you're going to see happen with coconut oil is that it, it sort of froth. It gets frothy, you know, when you're utilizing it. So you hear that big word there? Eh? Mm -hmm. Utilize. Mm -hmm. You understand? Where's Tanya Johnson? Now I'm gonna say Tanya Johnson and I may talk the big words then. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add my red onion. Mm-hmm. Official Jamie, I say good morning to you, Josh. Good morning. And you could I could have allowed the, the garlic to do it do a little bit more in terms of get a little bit more toasty. But it is what it is. You hear me use it is what it is. Hmm? You hear me use it is what it, it is. It is what it is, yes. Alright. So this is almost at a point where it's like simmering. Yeah, we just want the onion get to a vibe. Yeah, it's coming to a boil. Now we're just trying to do um different dishes, you guys. Trying to experiment with different things because ouch. Otherwise <clears throat> we're gonna end up with the same Jamaican breakfast every day, day in, day out. Yeah, and it just it just Joshua don't like it. <laughs> Joshua's excuse. <laughs> so now we just take my, my potato to them. This nice enough to put out some chicken breast pan, you know, mm. you know, that nice gravy, juicy, juicy gravy. Yeah? Okay. Guys, we're not waste nothing on you. Sorry about the back of the, the thing. So, these were the little baby, um. Potatoes, you guys. You know the little tiny round ones like such? Uh -huh. yeah. Petite. Petite. That's the one we used. Nice. This is coming on perfect, babes. See that? Uh -huh. Alright, I'm going to put in the fennel when we're done. Mm. And by the time you quit, they may, they may do. They may not take long at all. These potatoes don't take long. So pretty much I'm just mixing them now. And then I'm gonna cover this container with a foil to make them just go on steam. Uh oh, two potato fly out see. Rescue! Rescue those potatoes. Them done. Mind your bunny self in a see because my mommy not care ambulance. I mean hospital. See? See the bunny self. Craven is choke puppy dog. All right. 
right. Mm. Let Joshua mm. taste it. Let me want it. Mm. Joshua taste it. Mm. All right. Now I'm just gonna add the fennel. Come over here, baby. Yeah. Baby. Mmm. That's what I said. The top part of the fennel. <coughs> this, this are the top part. The head. <laughs> Look at that, guys. And this is just a way, it, me, I forgot, look, I, me, I forgot to use some more of the red onion, babes, just to garnish, because you notice the red onion loses its, its redness. Mm-hmm. Did I forget all? Use that, put in a couple of pieces when, when the stove done. Okay. And the meal, when the meal, when it's something done. You're supposed to be covering this with? Yeah. Got it. Yes, that's how I keep the um, potato warm and moist and moist and succulent. Do not, what kind of suck argument, my girl? Natural living by an en novel. Good morning to you. What's the flavor of the fennel like? Tell her again, see. Licorice and... and lick. No, no lick. I mean... It have a little... Taste rich. Minty, licorice Yeah, you must have started the licking Taste to it. <laughs> yes. I don't know how to describe it, but... It has that little vibe. Why am I... You're the worst camera person in the you want me to hold it? Oh no. Why? <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm using some roasted garlic and herb sauce right there. That's one. Then I'm using some cumin or cumin. And cumin adds body to everything guys. You don't have to use cumin only in curry. You can have cumin give a Mediterranean vibes. It's just nice. It just work. Mm-hmm. And I'm also adding in some larries. And if you can see me, can use that music a little bit of uh, larries. Use a good amount of larries. Make yourself comfortable. I thought this thing calls for vinegar. No, it doesn't. No, it calls for lemon juice. Oh. I mean, if, you have, if a vinegar you have, use vinegar, yes. But we have lemon juice, so I use lemon juice. Okay. So now I'm just making my, I'm going to the point now where I can stew down my, my, um, my, my, my um, what you call us up there again, fennel. Mm. And that's like a, a fennel com confit. You know, when you stew something in oil, it's called a confit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know them something is foreign thing. And I'm putting in my red pepper flakes, we tried it. Hi, Elizabeth Pope. We're serving this on top of roasted baby potatoes. And this normally called for like yuca. Yeah, if you boil yuca and, and serve this Just sauce pick, on top of it, it, oh my god. Lemon gosh. in the fridge. If any cut them on the Guys. Fridge. See that? In the lemon thing. Unbelievable. But we're doing it with some roasted um, potatoes. Reason being, guys, to be honest with you, Hubby really wanted the yuca, but we don't have the yuca here, but we do have the potato and the potato is at risk of being spoiled and we can't afford for spoiled food. So we're trying to more and more utilize what we have, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. just to be more, especially with our new savings mission that we're on, we can't afford to be wasting money. So yeah, we're just trying to utilize what we have and, um, Hopefully, um, hopefully we can do that more and more. Cause we have stuff. When you look in our cupboard, we have stuff. The when you look in the pantry, we no, have stuff. Talk to them. Tell the truth. See, make them know. Say it's not for the stuff what we do, what we get. Cause we're not gonna share this. We get things. Yeah. Right. It's stuff where we're not hundred percent used, used to. Used to or. A lot of times, yeah. Yes. We have to research to. to we have to, to research. To make them. Yeah. Cause even this, we just got this the other day, guys. Uh, 
What you cut? What you cut in a baby? We just got these from shout out to Auntie Cherry. Auntie Cherry introduced us to some really wicked and healthy um, food. This is the tricolored um, mm. quinoa. Mm -hmm. I wrote up the, the label for it and kept it in this thing, put it in this buckle. So we're going to try to be eat, um, eating more quinoa, more bulgur type things other than the rice. You know, try to lay off of the, the, the processed starch and the carbs to, um, a lot more and to try to eat more natural stuff. So yeah. Pass the sugar for me, darling. White or black sugar? White. Okay. Yeah. And so I'ma just add some more onion, like the because I had the onion in the container. And guys, this is the this is the container where we put the onion in. It. Mm -hmm. It's a airtight container. It comes with a top. Mm -hmm. You know, so we keep the onion in this. You know. Mm -hmm. so, and the sugar is just a balance and give you like umami vibes. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet, but you know. I'm always I'm always modifying my my recipes, guys. To suit my taste. And that's one of the things that we all must do. You know, learn to modify our, our recipes to suit our taste. Mm -hmm. Official Jamie said, do you have a yuca recipe on your channel? On the channel? I, I, I do, but it's it's a short, it's not a a, a, a full um one. Um, and Jamaicans use yuca mainly as bamis. Mm -hmm. So we do have the, the bami recipe, but we make it a yuca cake out of it and then use utilize that. Mm -hmm. Yes, natural living. I know you can. I do make it with um, peas, like rice and peas. The other day I was literally. Look at this, look at this, look at this. See that? That's what the fennel part will look like dill. Mm hmm. Let me see the part for the fennel. That, that fennel that he just added, this is how it looks before you chop it up. You know, it has this bulb thing at the root, and then, you know, these. And a lot of Caribbean the nationals things, will go right. into the stores, for instance, and pass these things because we don't know how to cook them. You know, we just pass them. We don't want to waste the time and take on them, experiment there, you know? But trust me, we have to, we have to step out of the box, you know, and um, open up our palate a little bit. You know, start to accept more things and better things and more on more oil. Just to I may go close, may go turn it off now. Let me just put a little bit more coconut oil. And as you can see, guys, I'm using coconut oil because coconut oil is way more healthier. You could use olive oil for this, but coconut oil carry a nice flavor. So you're gonna see more quinoa dish, right, babes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was explaining to Natural sorry, Living I'm that sorry. I did use the peas with this, and in keeping with the not wasting anything, we didn't have any red peas. So I saw something in the cupboard named pink, pink beans. Mm -hmm. So I just use it with the quinoa, like red peas, and add the coconut milk and the scallion and the thyme and everything, and cook it up. And it was nice. All right, so babes, let me tell you what you're gonna do now. You're gonna do your promo. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut up a little bit more red onion. You hear me, darling? And then, by the time you're done with your promo, it's just time for squeezing the 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 lemon juice and ju just put in sprinkle the red on the red onion, and we're done. So beautiful, the fennel is great in a light salad too. Yeah, because fennel can be had oh, raw. Oh, in fact, Carl, it's ours. Oh. Aquino. Guys. Oh, guys. Oh, oh guys. All right, guys, so. Guys, can somebody tell her if you get down the Christmas tree? Come and not help her, I mean, not help Guys, her. let me see your hand if your Christmas tree is already down. If you already took down your Christmas tree, show me your hands because I have no, a medal. Not ever, not ever. I have a medal for you if that's the case. More on this stay up till like all March. March, you mad man. What make? My girl, I'm gonna the idiot thing about March. Mama like it. 
and I like it. We like it. All right, guys. So, <clears throat> so looking for. Oh yeah, vanilla. The vanilla is great enough. Light salad. I'm ready to have a pot pie. Okay. Gwen Louis said mine is still up. Gwen, man. Gwen, stop the fan. Mine up, Gwen. is still up, Gwen. See, it's up and everything is still. Let me show you. You know, some things that me and Gwen was friends. And Gwen just still up from what the EAT. Gwen, man. Hot chocolate bar still in full effect. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Hot chocolate, but we can't touch. That's not true. Still have up some decoration. Noel and thing and thing and thing. Yeah. I'm still a one that own him Noel. Don't worry about it. Alright guys, so <clears throat> we just want to go ahead and introduce you guys. If you have not yet heard about our product line, yes. Um our natural hair and in recent times skin um care product line let me tell you about one true natural our brand is called one true natural reason being you are one true natural and so you need to treat your body and your ear naturally <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so yes we have um a couple of uh products in our product line the first one that we ever curated or created was our shine of my nourishing oil blend and this is a nice look how that look like liquid gold liquid gold mm, this is a nice blend of all natural organic oils that you can use on your hair and your scalp literally daily it is nice it's a nice light oil perfectly blended together to you know to work with any hair type so if your hair is lighter or finer or if your hair is thicker this is you know perfectly blended together to incorporate both types of oil so it is suitable for all hair types and it has an amazing smell it has an amazing combination of essential oil a secret in um, blend of essential oils that makes it nice for the scalp healthy on the scalp and you guys will not regret using this on your hair all right the next one is our jamaican black castor oil mm -hmm. if you're if you grew with your grandma especially if you grew up in the islands chances are you use jamaican black castor oil now the jamaican black castor oils that you guys are seeing in the beauty supply store i can tell you is not the real deal i'm gonna i'm gonna go out on a limb and say unapologetically go on, girl. it's not the real deal right because when you check the ingredients at the back i've i've been in the stores and they add other ingredients to the to the to the oil and so you're not getting it in its purest form but this, ladies and gentlemen, has nothing added to it. No riboflavin. It is the straight, pure, all-natural Jamaican black castor oil. How do I know? Because I get it straight from the person who grow the tree, where pick the beans them from, and roast them. Where expel the oil. And Roll on, y'all use big word. Yeah. Expel. <laughs> you think I school? yeah but on our on our um serious note though guys we are definitely sourcing this straight from the farm straight from the farmer and straight from jamaica you don't want your jamaican black castor oil to be coming from any other country other than jamaica because otherwise it wouldn't make sense so guys if your hair is dry if your hair is um experiencing breakage if you're having split ends if you're having problems retaining moisture you have to incorporate this oil in your hair care regimen. Go on, girl. Guys, I'm just saying that. Incorporation. Period. Point blank. Poo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. And we also have um, from the same Jamaican black castor oil family. You guys can't see it very well, but from the same Jamaican black castor oil family, we have, you know, put together a special grade of castor oil as a treatment for the brows and the lashes, yes. So this is um, designed to be used to try to thicken the brows and to lengthen your lashes. If you're having challenges in those areas, then this product will do the trick. It has the wand for you to apply it to the lashes, like a typical mascara wand, so yeah. 
All right. But, but you know, not two. No, only one. <laughs> and we also have the, you know, the newest addition to our line, our handcrafted all natural soap bars. Yes, these are the bomb. See, no mine, pun mine intended. FBI, mine FBI. <laughs> Hey guys, the, these um these that I have here are just two of the four different fragrances or different flavors that we have. This is the activated charcoal and turmeric, and this is the lemongrass. And we also have a combination of turmeric and sea moss. Yes, you heard me right, sea moss. Mm -hmm. Trust me, your skin will not be the same if you use that soap on it. And we also um have the lavender, the eucalyptus mint. All right, and guys, if you want to get the full experience, you can order it as a set. Yes, if you have somebody who is experiencing um, a special occasion, a birthday, you can get them this. Or if you yourself want to just get all the products, you can just order it as a set. Yes, so you can get all the products right on. at a discounted price. All right, and in order to order, you can visit our website at www.etsy.com wow. my fingernail hurting me Watch, it back. i don't know what's wrong with my fingernail <coughs> anybody ever have, have fingernail pain www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash one true natural or you can Send us a text if you want to order directly from us. You can order um, by texting us at 305-204-1270. Yeah. That's what the thing said. And that information is being added to the chat. Are you ready for the food? Yeah. Okay. Um, hold on, you know. 305. I have one still up, but my real one is down. <laughs> I guess if you have a real tree, though, how long does the real tree last? All right, let me go. Let me go. All right, guys, let's go. All right. So we are over here now at the penultimate um, event. See? Look at that. It's almost like a caramel. Mm -hmm. Look how the fennel gone down to caramel stage. Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And then now to this, me just squeeze this lemon. I got to add the lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And lemon juice is nice and tangy, but it, it also carry a nice flavor. Yes. You know? So you squeeze in your lemon juice. Right lemon here. juice alkalizes okay. yeah something to that effect alkaline and then just before me turn it off i'm gonna put back in some red onion because more why never just put that on top of after you serve it huh? maybe want it um get a little oily and greasy okay. and, and nice you know? <coughs> so why you want to serve it on on a bed of fire No, no, me, I'm a foolishness. <laughs> See there? Look on that, guys. Oh, look, guys. It's nice. So nice. So nice. So nice. So nice. So nice. All right. So I'm going to need a, a nice, cute plate now. So I'm going to clean up this case. The white thing. The which white thing? Over there. The broad white thing? Mm hmm. Sorry, I'm gonna clean up. Clean up, clean up, everybody, clean up, clean up, clean up. The camera is on you. The camera on me? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't want it on me. Uh. <laughs> Get it off. <laughs> Get it off me. Ow. Guys, I don't know what happened, but right in a, right up here, so my finger just start hurt me. Anybody know why? No, I'm just squeeze the lemon and that's it. Then it start hurting me because of that. I don't know why. Oh. 
<laughs> you know, Mama Rara said, not a pretty sight. <laughs> Mommy, leave me alone. All right, guys, I'm prepared. Sabrina Posley, good morning. Sabrina says so it's going to be delicious. All right, so. All right. It's the moment of truth, you guys. The assembly. The assembly. And as we always tell you guys, most of what we do here is stepping out of the box. I know like we do them something before. Mm -hmm. and know exactly how it's going to go. We, we are we're experimenting. Unfortunately, we don't have the wherewithal to go and experiment one day and then come back and make up the food the other day. We don't have the resources to do that. So most of what you see on camera is authentically mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me start this scene. You're getting a lot of calls today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't no respect my team. I don't have them That's don't respect. That's important, Lucy. Call. I don't business. They need to respect my team. They don't know your team. They know my team. All right, so. As you can see. You get a voice note. All right, so now you just basically add your potatoes in. This is where you want some good quality olive oil you know what olive oil like if you were to do this by itself like you were making potatoes by itself mm -hmm. you'd have a drizzle oh guys and speaking of that what i did when i um put the potatoes to roast was just put a little lorry on it and then drizzle some olive oil over top of the potatoes and that, that's it mm -hmm. So they're nice and flavorful as is right there. Right. Look good, you know? You look good? Yep. Have a buzz. See how this will look, guys? How it look, guys? If you like how it look, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Give us a thumbs up. And that's our presentation for today. A joke. Take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, don't show over the sink part because the sink part look away. <clears throat> All right, and then we go back again just for you know, add yeah. some parsley flakes. And this is 100% for um, for presentation, it's you know, do nothing else. Mm -hmm. And um, my belly is growing, your belly is growing. Mm -hmm. Trying to make it grow on the camera, you know. Growing. Any growling, I'm going to make it grow off the camera. <laughs> Ooh, la la. Papa. Cat That is going to do that. And guys, this can be a side dish, you know, and you put like some chicken breast. Or some salmon, you know, beside this and serve it up. Or if you're going vegetarian, like how we going vegetarian, mm -hmm. we're not going to say vegan yet. See, Gwen said this should be good on the van, on the Daniel fast. All right. See that? See that? Look on that, guys. And this is a hearty meal. You won't feel, you know, that there's anything lacking when you eat this. This is very satisfying, very filling. And then you just drizzle. So why are you holding me go? The school no man, the school no my girl. You have to know if you do the things in and everything needs to cover totally, you know. Mm. So then you have to make it, let the meat stay so that you can add whatever else. Claire said that looks delicious. Oh, we're going in with our green onion as usual. We are there. Hmm? What happened? The text. Oh, that looked my babes. I like it. So, in the middle now, this is the choice. <laughs> 
cut the tomato and put in the middle or cut the avocado? Which one you prefer? Or I don't put nothing. Cut or nothing. Because me like it, so you know. Alright. Jano, I like it just like that. I don't need a thing in the middle. It need a plate to share mine in the middle. <laughs> 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 Why? Let me take a thumbnail real quick. You know, honest to guys, would you eat something like this? What do you think? What are your thoughts? Share your thoughts. Would you eat it? Or would you not eat it? <laughs> now come the guys, now forget the thumbnail Ooh. picture then. Do I look good on the camera? I'm not tell no lie. It looks super duper good on the camera. Mm -hmm. Trust me. And that's our presentation for today, guys. It's uh, potatoes, roasted potatoes with a fennel, garlic, a garlic fennel mojo sauce. And as I said, it's Spanish or, or Latin in, in nature, but we can Jamaicanize it. We could have add salt fish to the sauce. Then we could have add, you know, um, um, where else we could have add to the sauce, babes? Eh? Jackie. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and you starting it, you know, come on. <laughs> Guys, it's just also, it's, it's just something that you can just utilize, as I said, as a side dish. Or you could have it as a main, main course meal, you know. Any which way it go, it, it worth it. It worth it. All right? So... I'm a fine cup, couple pieces when we can get this girl. Make sure to try it on the camera. And guys, hold on. Well, I'm going to look on it like, you know, like, like I'm going to get to lick a bit. Mm -hmm. Mine, you know. No. You don't want to check my thing. I need to watch the replay to see the full recipe. It looks amazing. Yep, yep, yep. But pretty simple, very limited, very basic um ingredients, guys. So yeah, man. So it, it's something that as I said, and then guess what? If you try it for breakfast, you could have the potato for dinner. You get what I mean? You can put an egg, for instance. You could you could make a, an egg right now and just put on on your little portion. So it becomes versatile. With a fry, boil, whatever, you could make it more versatile by just adding little stuff to it. And the mojo sauce, you could make it beforehand and just put it in a bottle, an airtight bottle, and put it in the fridge. You understand? So this is something that I think we should we should all try. Um, let us know your first impression. Mm. What do you think? Wait, no. <laughs> I'm excited for you to tell me. Mm -mm. Mouth. <laughs> Want to your mouth? Let's see. Oh. This onion sauce? Fennel. Onion fennel sauce can't eat by itself. For real, for real? For real, for real. Wow. So good. Wow. Have a nice little tangy, balance with a nice little sweet. And just the nice crunch of the onions. Look how much wow. Mm. wow. All right, see me have a, a spoon here. Nice. Mm hmm. Guys, mm hmm. Oh my lord. It nice, it's trouble. It really nice, really. Josh. <clears throat> come come taste this and tell me what you think bro the young lady over there sir, at work um it's on you me know there's something you know something you the top part of your your gum your, the roof of your mouth ever get irritated yet it has been like that since yesterday and so that's what's bothering me right now tell me what you think josh 
Sweet and salty. Mm -hmm. And kind of onion. It tastes good now. You gotta eat it, you gotta order it in a restaurant. Yeah. If it came with meat. <laughs> and rice. Meat what? and rice. <laughs> what? <laughs> I saw. The man takes some with me to rice. <laughs> but guys, it's worth it. It's really worth it. Um, you know, it's something that again you can try and eat. guess what? You know, if you use potato, you can use yuca, which is which is what the original recipe um come with. Or you can use yellow yam, for yes, instance. Sir, nice you know, could I make this for, for, for Sunday with yellow yam? It will nice with bread for them. Oh yeah, anything where we where anything where we juice up the aisle there, you know? Mm -hmm. It could have worked with. You know, so guys, I'm just telling you, this one is worth trying. Gwen says hello, L Josh. Boy, if it come with rice and meat. <laughs> 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 so you would just have it by itself. <laughs> with what? To fill my stomach? <laughs> <laughs> to fill your stomach, yes. I fully more, I barely fully my look. <laughs> yeah? Belly pulling my look out at this thing, but what to pull my stomach? What <laughs> <laughs> guys, may I look for myself in the mirror and may I look a little slimish, especially in the mornings? But I have to just make sure it's a more work on uh, making sure that I have something warm all day because all my belly work, I'm slim in the morning, and by 12 o'clock, I look like Pontius Pilot. Well, it's 11.30 now when you're not looking like Pontius yet. So <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. We bless every single one of you. We pray that God will cover on you. And remember, this afternoon, I'm on radio at Caribbean Radio HD2.com. And I'll be on at 5, all right? Also, let me just put this out there. If you want to learn, if you want to learn how to alkaline your body, Give me a call, yeah? Send me a DM, I'm going to give you the number to get this product. This is a very, very good product. It has noni, acai, mangosteen, goji, and pomegranate. You understand? But what put on the potatoes to roast? Oh, um, Sabrina, you can put anything on the potatoes to roast. A little salt and black pepper, or a little seasoning salt, or a little Italian seasoning. It doesn't really matter because the, the, the sauce is so... Flavorful. flavorful that even if not ready on the potato it still work you understand so we just roasted the potato for roast sake and sprinkle some um dollar dollar 25 cent tree um what you call that parcel flakes on it all right so you're not for roast the potato with nothing or you could boil the potato if you if you if you want it um yes you can um sakina you could put a little cooking oil if you're roasting it obviously you're gonna put a little cooking oil because you don't want the potato to um burn you understand or stick to the to the to the roasting pan all right so that that's another thing but the 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 flavor of the moho sauce it is so good that you really don't need to put nothing on the potato all right so back to this conversation now this is the red livy and guys i tell you now dr pastor john is onto something so link me up yeah dm me we give another number to reach out to pastor john to get on one and, and tell him saint hope senior tell him yada belly tv saint hope senior and may i tell you this is very good very very good product you understand and i also have the the shield um the shield plus tea and this is ultimate immune boosting ingredients right here so I'm inviting us to check this out. We need it always. We need it always. Try always. I remind me for prayer. So I'll try and every morning I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna pray based on you know the, the leading. So sometimes I'm not gonna pray because I know every morning, you know, and this is a cooking show, it's not a religious show. You understand? So I want to understand that. Um, and so some mornings may bring prayer as me feel led, but I know every morning. The next thing is our one day detox, guys. We're still on the one day detox. Check it out. Text the same number that you see in the chat come up. Forget your one day detox. You need to start your 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 um your health regimen. Yeah. So if you need to start your health regimen, you have to have to run with the one day detox to start it. You see me, it's important. All right. I put back the number in the chat a while ago again. Um, can you put pin 
the information for the drink, please. Be able to look right there. So I said the number for me for Pastor John. It's 516 right there. It's on a piece of white paper. Yeah, I'm going to put the number in right now. So I'm going to get the number, guys. 516. Hold on. The number is 516. 286. 286 7079. All right. For. Red Libby. All right. So it and it's important to let him know that it's um Saint Hope sent you when you order because you can get a discount. You can get and ask him about the discounts, ask him about the specials because you can get a very good special. All right, Sabrina. So this is very, very good. I promise you guys, very, very good. And it's something that a lot of people are ordering and, and I'm working with um, Pastor and he has given me, um, you know, and I, I love it. I love it. It just, it goes down well. It not, it not tastes bitter or nothing. Unlike. So the one day detox work, you understand? So may I ask enough for us make sure to sort this out as soon as possible. Sort this out as soon as possible. All right. Try. You see this something? Try. You see the, the, the thing? Yeah. Let me see. I'm at that gentleman door ready to purchase the thing. I use your name. He slammed it in my face. <laughs> Wait up, boy. So, try, try. Stop making trouble, the man. <laughs> try this morning. We made, we made, um, it's a very, very simple dish. We made some roasted potato with a, a garlic fennel mojo sauce or mojo sauce. M O J O is mojo in Spanish. Yeah, and so it's sort of pull up now because we, we share the claw tight, but that's that's the, the dish. And this it just tastes good. It tastes really, really good. I can't wait to devour mine. All right. So that's what we made this morning. And guys, check us out. We're going to be coming with more live. And guys, listen, please. Whatever you do, jump on that saving hack. Yes, nice. I can't recommend it anymore. You understand? That you jump on the saving hack. And help yourself. You can save ten thousand dollar in three months. Would you do it? If somebody told you you can save ten thousand dollar in three months, would you do it? Well, I'm telling you, you can. And it's not nobody money. It's not no scheme. It's not no deal. It's just discipline. It's just between you and God. It's just between you and Jesus. <laughs> you understand? Let me make the plate look good for the, 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 the presentation to finish up the presentation. You understand? So may I invite you to get on out. I may go put may I go cut my pear in on I cut my avocado and put on it, you know. I think I would enjoy it with that boiled eggs. You know, say I craving this attack right now over there, so because you know so it depends on the, the, the vegetable and something. Hmm? And you over there so I'll bring I pear. egg chicken. But see then our where egg grow up to turn dinosaur? Yeah, well you not grow up yet. Well no guys, <laughs> yeah, you are she not call egg chicken. I not grow up yet. <laughs> I must eat dinosaur, so egg and no meat. If you eat that egg, it will never become a chicken. Oh, God, Jesus. So it will never become meat. I think I'm going to pray for you. Try to so pray us out. I'm going to feel like I need to pray us out for you because you need prayer. You need prayer. No, you need Jesus. Why? So, Lord, cover this young lady under your blood right now. And all our listeners, protect them from the enemy. Give them peace in their lives. Keep them from harm and problems and lord we just ask that your holy spirit just continue to just build an edge around this little channel let us just invite people to know you and to know your your, your son jesus christ and lord we pray that this young lady will know the difference between the chicken and the head <laughs> in jesus name amen hallelujah hallelujah you know, you could have asked me to fix that. Oh, eh? Where's the bit? You could have asked me to fix the avocado, please. <coughs> so the avocado will look fixed? You know, all them slides it in and then fan it out. Me, me, no, I'm nice. not fanning nothing. Leave it now. <laughs> this morning, meal will go good with some brown stew fish or chicken. I'll do that. Try. 
You know, say try under the quiet, try love in belly bag. Why are you coming on my show? But try the experience separate from the boxing gym. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of experience? <laughs> what will I experience on that experience, try? <laughs> Oh, that's oh, it. Not look bad now, guys. Guys, it look bad with the avocado. Stop calling your channel little. From now on, you are the mighty, mighty Yaribin. Mm. Oh, it look. It, it, tell me if it look bad with the avocado, guys. I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of tahin on it. Yeah. Let me know. See. Peace. Close us out. How much clothes as you want? Guys, this is the meal for today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And as we said before, make sure to check out our other uh, most recent videos that you might have missed. Yes, yes, yes. And join us again on Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. for dinner live. And in between when we drop some pre-recorded videos throughout so hit the notification bell if you have not already done so because you do not want to miss because to miss is to this big up on yourself remember me tell you live and laugh cook and eat remember me tell you now have a good thursday bye